What psychotype does a natural witch belong to? Can a person belong to two psychotypes at the same time? If we are talking about a natural witch, emphasizing the word natural that comes from the root nature, she is more likely to have the child psychotype. And of course she will incarnate through the Dionysus channel. It's more likely to happen, but whether it's more or less likely depends only on the inner magic. Because what is a psychotype? It is the form of personality, let's call it that. The child psychotype implies irresponsibility and constant learning. And these qualities are predetermined and allowed by the system. The parent psychotype implies responsibility and constant teaching. This is how the psychotype manifests itself, and a person cannot help but manifest his nature and character in this way. That's when we talk about personality. But personality is not the soul itself, it is a secondary structure in relation to the soul. And the soul can incarnate here through two channels that you also know very well, the Apollonic channel and the Dionysus channel the channel of light and the channel of darkness, where the light channel is the Apollonic channel and the dark channel is the Dionysus channel. It is not the same thing, do not confuse the two. Next, a colleague asks, do people of the Dionysus channel belong to the child psychotype or the parent psychotype? It can be both, people of the Dionysus channel can belong to both the child psychotype and the parent psychotype, as can people of the Apollonian channel. Another thing is that the soul, the I am that came through the Dionysus channel, will more effectively fulfill the inner tasks of its dark channel with the child psychotype. And on the contrary, people who have come through the light-bearing Apollonic channel find it easier, I emphasize easier, to fulfill their light-bearing inner tasks with the parent psychotype. But, as they say, man proposes, God proposes, and Mother Nature disposes. Because nature can give you a parent psychotype as well as a child psychotype. It will do what it needs to do, not according to your technical task, but according to the space in which you were born. Nature tries to balance everything, including the psychological background. If many people with the parent psychotype are born in the same living space, then almost immediately people with the child psychotype will be born to balance them out. The fact that a person of the Apollo Mick channel is not comfortable with the child psychotype does not bother Mother Earth at all. This means that such a person would be much more dependent on the environment, the land and the space in which he was born, because Earth sees that your personality is needed for space, it is needed for society, but it's not needed for you. To a greater extent a person's psychotype is determined by the Earth itself and the system, including the egregorial social system. They say, right now we need more people with the child psychotype because we have an overabundance of parents, or, on the contrary, we urgently need a nanny for all our children who have been born here in large numbers. But we don't see any people with the parent psychotype. Who's going to take care of the children? They desperately need a shepherd and guide. That's exactly how it happens. Because, and I'm repeating myself, we need the psychotype to communicate, to socialize, and to build horizontal relationships. Whereas the I am, the channel through which you are born, maintains the vertical relationships. It depends on your inner essence and your inner technical task. Now back to the question of witchcraft. Another question from a colleague, can we say that magic is closer to a person with the child psychotype than to someone with the parent psychotype? It's not quite like that. It's just that they have completely different magic. Light magic and dark magic are different kinds of magic, they exist on different vibrations, and they manifest in different ways.
The effects associated with magical specialization do not play a role here. Just as one can heal and kill on the channel of light, one can heal and kill on the channel of darkness. Such effects depend only on the person himself and his inner technical task. It's just that the vibrations are different, and the tools have to be chosen accordingly. Your personality and psychotype can be both helpers and limitations if you don't know how to use them. And what might be the reason why you don't know how to use them? Maybe you haven't learned, maybe you haven't found a teacher, or maybe the environment has created circumstances that limit you. This happens quite often. For example, a person with the child psychotype is surrounded by a large number of people with the parent psychotype who severely restrict him with rules of behavior and don't allow him to reveal himself to the fullest extent. It may be that you have an inner need to learn how to make your own way. Not on the beaten path, but through the rough places. And this is what your magic insists on and demands of you, anything can happen, no two situations are the same, every case is different. You just have to know yourself very well, who you are by psychotype, what channel you came through. Evaluate your environment and understand how it helps or hinders you. Is it really a hindrance or just a learning test? Is it really a help or just a provocation to make you relax and do nothing at all? You need to ask yourself these questions over and over again. Kind of going back to the question our colleague asked about the programmatic nature of consciousness. The same principle applies here. You have to take yourself apart all the time. If something works out, why? Is it your merit or is it a provocation of the system, what is it? If something doesn't work, why? Is it an obstacle of the system or inner laziness? Where is the cause and where is the effect? You have to keep asking yourself these questions. You have to become boring and repetitive to yourself, but you have to get to the truth. And the next question from a colleague, is it possible that a technical task for a witch with the parent psychotype is to adjust the relationship with her husband who belongs to the child psychotype? Or is the relationship adjustment too small for the technical task of a witch? I also think it's too small to be a technical task for a witch. At least, it can hardly be a technical task for this incarnation because witches don't serve. And here you've described a pure algorithm of service when a witch with the parent psychotype adjusts the relationship with the husband who belongs to the child psychotype. A witch sees service to her husband, service to her family, service to relationships as mere tools. Because a witch who realizes that she is a witch always perceives every environment as a tool because she always puts herself and her own magic first. Whoever you are, child or parent, Dionysus or Phoebus, it does not matter. If you are a witch, you put yourself and your own magic first. And you see everything else as some kind of application to that, some kind of special patches, some kind of programs that either block your main program or reveal it. But in no way, under no circumstances does your inner witchy essence serve the interests of others, much less the interests of the common people.